Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and uh, welcome back to this next video and this is another video uh, in the series of videos on the uh, XPACI portal. Uh, in my last video I told you that XPACI is a portal which provides you access to a variety of the tools and in this particular video I am going to show you uh, about a particular tool that is present on the XPACI and that tool is known as the translate tool. So how you are going to use this translate tool? So the first thing we do is we go to the home page of the XPZ, which is actually under the uh, which is run by the Swiss Institute of the Bioinformatics. You can directly go to this uh, into this translate tool, but let me show you how you can uh, visualize the other tools that are available at the uh, home page of the XPZ. So when you click on this XPZ, you can see over here can see a lot of tools that are available for different functions and you can see uh, below each uh, you can see tool the function of that particular tool that is mentioned that what you can do with that particular tool for example if this is a Swiss model it is going to help you in the protein structure homology modeling so as we are interested in the translate tool what you can simply do is you can uh, find the translate tool on the page of the XPZ you click on this particular translate tool and you uh, click on this browse the resource website so when you click on that it is going to lead you to this particular page and uh, what you do is that in this particular box you you have to paste your dna or your rna sequence we already got uh, a sequence a faster sequence uh, for the uh, e coli universal stress protein so i'm going to copy this particular uh, DNA sequence. This is the sequence of the DNA or the gene for the universal stress protein. By the way, how you can retrieve this particular FASTRA sequence? I have a video on the on this particular topic, and I'll share the link in the description. But for this particular video, just you have to just copy this uh, FASTRA sequence, and you have to paste this uh, in this particular uh, box. <coughs> so once you have pasted that particular one. Uh, what you can do is you can go down and uh, you can click on this uh, translate tool. So once you have clicked on this translate tool, you are going to see uh, six frames like uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five and six. So uh, for, uh, uh, from five prime to three prime, you are going to see three frames from three prime to the five prime. You are going to uh, see three frames. So now the problem is uh, which particular uh, translated uh, you can say amino acid sequence you have to take into consideration so of course the one that with that is with uh, a bigger sequence with no stop codon between them that is actually your amino acid sequence or that is the sequence of the protein you are interested in so the first one i am getting this this is actually the uh, sequence that i have got from the uh, dna sequence i have pasted in this particular box so so what you can do next is if you can click on this first one the first methionine this m is for the methionine it is going to give you uh, further information on this particular protein for example you can get the fasta sequence for this particular protein this is actually the fasta sequence of the protein uh, for the dna sequence that we just pasted in the uh, box above what you can do more is you can go to this particular uh, like the sequence analysis tool and you can select this uh, protein parameters and when you click on this this protein parameter is going to give you like a lot of information it is going to give you the uh, number of the amino acids present in this particular protein in this particular case the number of the amino acid is 144 this is the uh, molecular weight of the protein and this is the theoretical pi the isoelectric point for this particular protein uh, similarly you can get the like a concentration of different proteins uh, the different amino acids that are present in this particular uh, protein for example the alanine uh, their number is nine and this is making about 6.2 percent of the whole protein that we just got from the dna sequence uh, secondly it can also give you the uh, formula for this particular protein can give you the total number of the uh, atoms present in this particular protein and it can also give you the uh, extension coefficients uh, in the units of the uh, uh, you can say uh, uh, per mole per centimeter so this is how you are going to use the uh, translate tool and you can you can say translate the your desired rna or the dna sequence into the protein of interest 
So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share it with your friends.